when I was working with my team to figure out who we would look for for this kind of help. Um, I imagined a group that would scientifically test the process of finding the right signals on the right channels. And um, when, when I described that hypothetical imaginary uh, sort of unicorn of an ideal partner, uh, I, I got kind of like, look, looked like I had two heads to my partners. They were like, that can't exist. And then we found you guys, and it turns out, you know, damn right that does exist. We're on. Cool. Hi, Greg. How's it going? Going great. Going great. Um, having, a, having a good day, busy day, but uh, glad to be here talking to you. Awesome. 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 Well, uh, I, I, I want to I want to I want to chat with you a little bit about the sort of like the relationship that we've had so far and 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 really like the the, uh, the tremendous success that Revit has been having and, and incredible growth and, and sort of want to hear about the relationship um, that you've had with uh, the no good squad so far. Have they been doing a good job for you? Uh, what's going on? Yeah. There? Yeah. OK, so um, right right from the start. Right. We um, uh, we got going and there were some technical challenges to resolve. Uh, on our side before we can start doing the kind of tracking that we needed to do to get to where we are today, which, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but at the beginning, uh, when we were all getting to know each other, your people were brilliant working with us. They um, sort of helped us get our heads around what needed to be. And, um, you know, between us and uh, our technical lead, our CEO, Austin, um, we were able to get those things off the ground quickly. Uh, with with minimal friction and you know and through the throughout this process we're getting to know everybody right and that is such a difficult time uh, for a lot of people to also be productive and you know, we were able to work through that and have fun doing it at, you know I mean sort of uh, getting to know one another at the same time and I, I knew right from then that things were going to go well because um, you know I've seen challenges like that even though they seem trivial when you look at them from a distance start to divide people and we had none of that like it was just uh okay these are what these are challenges in front of us this is what we still need to do uh, you know let's go and it was just kind of a let's go attitude from the start that we were all on the same page on and everybody was just enthusiastic right um you know when we finally get to the point where we can start really letting you guys flex your magic and you know, i can't say enough about the team over there um they they started right from the from the get-go uh, making great content getting out on all the channels executing a scientifically tested approach to this thing and i was actually saying the other day uh when when i when i was working with my team to figure out who we would look for for this kind of help um, I imagined a group that would scientifically test the process of finding the right signals on the right channels. And um, when, when I described that hypothetical imaginary uh, sort of unicorn of an ideal partner, uh, I, I got kind of like, look, looked like I had two heads to my partners. They were like, that can't exist. And then we found you guys and it turns out, you know, damn right that does exist. Awesome, awesome. No, so, love, love hearing yeah. that, love hearing that. And, and it's only obviously like, we have an incredible product, an incredible team that we're working with here. So can you tell us a little bit about the product? What is what is Rivet and and, and what are you guys out there? Yeah. So um, Rivet is a product specifically targeted at software developers who are maybe getting started in blockchain and Web3 and uh, maybe don't know a whole lot about how the technical side of it works. They have some experience with with uh, front end development, maybe some some database back end type experience, but they they have no idea how to deal with sort of the complexities of blockchain, especially running uh, blockchain nodes. Uh, we we started off actually as um, a different product, Open Relay. We made a decentralized exchange, and the hardest part of our stack to manage was that part. We and you know we had the experience of understanding blockchain, so we saw an opportunity because we knew that this was going to get big, and we knew that people were going to you know, they were going to have trouble with the same problems that we had trouble with that led us to develop the solution we had. Um, and we took this solution and we, we began to offer it as a service. And that's what Rivet's all about. We're, we're about making it so that the backend complexity of blockchain becomes something that is familiar to web developers. Uh, it, you know, it's an API that they can call instead of this weird infrastructure stack that's peering and doing all this other craziness. Uh, they can come on and get started in Web3 as if um, they were working with uh, familiar technology. So that, and that's that's sort of what we focus on. And, and, and this is, again, yeah. one of the reasons why we, we love working with you guys. I think what you bring to this space is something that we absolutely need. And, and we need more of like more of these startups that are really like bringing, actually building the infrastructure for 
uh, Web3 or, or blockchain here. It's it's something that is um, again we're we're obviously love to be uh, to be be sort of with you on the journey, but but the incredible impact that you say you say we'll work with impactful brands and 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 obviously Rivet is is when you look out there in the space, Rivet is one of those uh, more impactful brands. Uh, and speaking of impact, Thank it you. looks like you're after. You're after developers, which is sort of an audience segment that is everyone is going after, and and sort of particularly like you know uh, uh, blockchain developers and, and and Ethereum developers. It looks like this is a busy space, something that everyone mm -hmm. is targeting. Uh, what was your experience like, sort of like you know working particularly, sort of like in terms of strategies that we're deploying and 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 the sort of like the the day to day operations working with the squad. Is there something that you find interesting or different working with Nogood in that regard? Um, well, every everything that we've had um, experience-wise with the team so far has just been in this remarkable uh, uh, environment of continual progress, right? It's it's uh, it's almost difficult to point to uh, you know something that uh, that worked right from the start. But if I had to say, um, you know, the key thing that your team does that I wouldn't expect any team to do is something that we also do. And that's to look very clear eyed at what the thing is uh, that you're working on and try to do it better, no matter how good it is, right? Uh, we see these amazing numbers. We're like, holy shit, we just doubled the amount of active accounts this month. We're like we looked at that, we were like, holy fucking crap. I sent a screenshot to our shared Slack channel and was like, guys, wow. And then like the next day we have a call. Uh, and the call isn't self-congratulatory. It's okay, this is something that we can do better. This is something that we can do better. Always looking for something to do better. We we at Rivet call it bumping the lamp. Uh, there's this uh, this YouTube video that you should have to, I'll have to send it to you. Um, we, we, we sent it to your team right early on when we first started working together. And it, the basic idea is, you know, you can always do more to be great. And I think that's something that your team does consistently. Uh, that mirrors what our team does uh, as as an aspirational effort, and that I, I see is really the source of the magic. If you wanted to really get down to it, is it's that drive to always make it greater. I love hearing that. This this means a lot to me. These are actually one of the values, one of the core values that we start with. If we did that growth mindset, and 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 really like better is not enough, make it great, and and it's 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 again something that sounds like music to my ears, and I I it really warms my oh. heart. When, and doing it in the face of such success, because you guys have done wonders for us. The numbers are just are just crazy good. Well, well more than than um, you know we could have imagined to be hopeful for. Just out of such uh, you know such a nuts and bolts like driving through these basics and doing them well effort. Like you wouldn't expect those kinds of you know basically hyperbolic growth numbers to come out of just doing things well at a nuts and bolts level and and you know continuing to drive for better. Uh, you almost expect those things to be harder fought and harder won. And not to say that people aren't fighting hard and aren't working hard at it, but the, the results have been exponential. You know, like the inputs uh, have been related to the outs uh, in, in a power law type of structure, which is remarkable. But but to see that that drive continue despite that success is is really what I find amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's especially like again, it's 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 such a sort of uh, um, busy and 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 I would say crowded space in terms of like the audience being the audience that we're after here. Um, and, mm -hmm. and 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 again, there's sort of like the the we approach we like to approach these problems with a beginner's mindset. So I remember the first early days where the team was like, "What the hell are we going to do with this thing?" Right? Like and. And 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 uh, hearing that sort of like a few months into the relationship, uh, again something that is I think we still have. I'm not gonna sort of like sit here and congratulate ourselves. I think we still have a lot to do. We just get out there and do we do do and do and do a lot more. But I want to ask you one one last question here is is yeah. um, what's what's the what do you feel like the the this is more about the methodology and the differentiators of no good here. What do you truly like right. aside from the drive, which, which I think is a very important one. What do you think are the core, sort of like core differentiators about the way we deploy experiments and the strategies that we run uh, that you feel like makes the team different? 
Okay, well, uh, first off, I would say the learning that you guys engage in uh, directly uh, to understand our space. Like you didn't come in um, and presume that a one size fits all approach was going to work because that would, as you know, be insanity to think. There's no one size fits all. It's always in context of a particular co company in a particular industry. Our industry is especially difficult to master and even we're learning every day. You almost have to take it with a learning mindset where there's not really a, uh, a yes, you're right, no, you're wrong type of approach because it's so new that it's being created as we go, right? There, there's, um, there's an element of what you value and how you approach it. And then there's an element of um, what you see every day. You, you take feedback from the ecosystem and learn and, and focus on what they're learning on. Uh, I thought that was going to be a challenge to convey um, and to some of the, even some of the other, other teams that, you know, that are competing in your space that we talked to before we talked to you, there was some of this, well, we don't think you, you will fit into this growth thing. We think you need to do an awareness campaign because nobody's heard of you yet or blah, 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 blah. They, they had all these preconceived notions and you guys came to it with an open, like you said, beginner's mindset um, and started learning what we do uh not not even just at an academic level but in a day in day where i'll i'll see something interesting in the ecosystem and i'll drop it into the slack channel or we'll talk about it on the weekly call um and and everybody really engages with it and really wants to know and really learn and asks questions and um you know it's, it's all towards a mission it's all towards the goal of increasing uh those kpis that we set right but uh but but it's really conscious of the context and that, that's something that i didn't see anywhere else uh e even in the initial discussions with teams it's, it's something that i didn't see um you know well, i'm just I, you just don't see it it's uncommon you guys aren't just unique in your industry you're kind of unique in terms of creatives like that and i would say that's uh uh it's a key differentiator it's just sort of the humility before the unknown love it love it love it well, uh, I can see uh, this is again uh, incredible, incredible product, incredible team, and and uh, we have incredible partnership here. I can see uh, Revit being up to no good, and and go Revit, we're going places here. Thank you. Yep. Mind, mind if I add one more thing to the video? I just oh, wanted to say that anybody who any, anybody who's watching this right now, um, I am aware that I'm on camera, and uh, if you're not sure who to talk to, uh, you should really give these guys a call. Like you won't regret it. If you're on the fence, just, just get out, reach, reach out to him, talk to him because you, you'll be glad you did. Mm -hmm.